Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and very good day to all of you. I am presenting this video as a student of University Technology Mara, Kampus Permatang Pau Pulau Pinang. And this video is presented on behalf of our participation in the Artificial Intelligence and Internet of Things International Innovation Expo 2024. And our proposed topic is titled as Development of IoT-based Headwater Phenomenon, Monitoring and Warning System. So, me myself, as Ahmad Akifaran bin Muhammad Yuzi, working along with my team members, Jamilah binti Matapah, Muhammad Fatullah Hakim bin Jaafar, Nur Asmida Shahira binti Aliastar, and Muhammad Imran bin Daeng, and of course, our supervisor that proposed and conducted, handled us throughout this project is Dr. Rosan Bourville. Beginning with the introduction, what is actually a headwater phenomenon? It is a sudden increase in water level that speeds up the upper part of the river and the difficulties that we face to detect those headwater phenomenon possibly caused by the heavy rainfall at the upper part of the river is that we could not track them in real time. That is why we are trying to propose the water level sensors using Internet of Things based system or we call it as IoT. We are using Google Apps Script and also Firebase system to help develop our prototype. In the problem statement, we still have lack of awareness and understanding regarding water head levels we still have no accurate monitoring, the reliance on unstable sensors such as ultrasonic sensors which are prone to inaccuracies and also unreliability in measuring water levels. The Blink system provider also is unable to effectively analyze the real-time data resulting in delayed or incorrect response to changing water levels. So the objective that we are trying to achieve is that to identify the characteristics of headwater phenomenon in high-risk areas to develop a monitoring headwater early detection system in risk areas, to monitor directly through an internet platform that detects the water level or water reservoir in the upstream and downstream of the river at risk, to give an early warning in the form of siren to security guards or officers to take action in the headwater in an area. So this is the overview of our prototype. We are implementing the first one at the upper upstream of the uh, water level and also another same identical prototype at the downstream part. And we are using uh, the emergency uh, LCD and also buzzer to alarm the user that either normal condition, warning condition or uh, emergency condition will be given. So this is the detailed flowchart that we have implemented. Three of the platforms that we are using is the Visual Studio Code to design the code for upstream, downstream and also the user. And then the second one is the Google Sheet is to design the table. And the third one is the Firebase system to set up the data storing platform. Those three platforms will be deployed the link into the Visual Studio Code and build them, upload them into three identical ESP32 Wi-Fi module. Once they have been connected, those three platforms or software will be launched simultaneously and the process to be will the process will begin to capture the time difference between the upstream and also downstream part store the data into the firebase system and also upload the data into the google sheet platform and then we will see what notify notification that will be notified to the user using the lcd and also the buzzer this is the block diagram of the proposed system. Two of them will be the inputs and one of them will be the output which is the user. So the upstream and also downstream will be using three of limit switch that acts as sensors each and the time difference will be captured by these two inputs by using Firebase system and other required data. Once the Firebase system has been ready to collect all of the data, then only it will upload the data to the Google Sheets to display the condition the time difference and also the other required data and the notification will be at the user part for the LCD and also the buzzer. The final product will be looking like this. There we are having two identical inputs. That is why we are uh, having two identical pipes there. Blue pipes is for the outer and also red pipe is for the inner. We have attached also the slider for the inner pipe so that the inner red pipes can move up and down freely to trigger the switches. So this is the summary table that we have listed 10 conditions here. Condition number 1 until 7 is for the normal condition where we will not ring the buzzer sound yet. However, for the upstream and also downstream, they will still capture the time difference. But as long as the level of switches, inner pipe does not trigger both of them level 3, it is assumed as a safe condition. 
Condition number 8 is when the upstream and also downstream level have triggered both of them level 3. However, the time difference is above 1 minute. So that is why only warning action and also buzzer number 1 will be ring. And the most critical condition that we want to monitor is that condition number 9 and, and 10. The lower or the shorter time difference is captured. Then the LCD will display emergency and also the buzzer condition will be ring louder. Buzzer number 2 and also buzzer number 3 for example. So this is the circuitry for our input and output. On the left hand side is the input for upstream and also downstream. Both will be implemented with 3 micro limit switch. And the right hand side is the output for the user using passive buzzer and also LCD display. Moving on to the results, we will highlight a few conditions here. For example, upstream level 0 and also downstream level 0. What will happen in the LCD, what will be appeared is that the first must be the Wi-Fi connection. And once the Firebase has been ready, the LCD will be displayed, no action, US level 0, downstream level 0, and also the time difference is 0 minutes. And then, for the Firebase system at the right side, showed at title as real-time database, you can see all of the triggering switch has been uh, input into, into the Firebase system. But now it's condition number 1, which is all of the switches is 0. And then in the expected data analysis in the Google Sheet has been updated all of the data. And in the Visual Studio Code shows that the condition is condition number 1. And then moving on to the condition number 2, upstream level 1, downstream level 0. What will happen is that the inner pipe switch has been triggered switch number 1. And the LCD will display no action, US level 1, DS level 0 and the time difference is 3 minutes. The same goes in the real-time database Firebase platform. The USW1 has been triggered as 1. Downstream and also upstream have been captured the time difference and goes into the Google Sheet expected data analysis. The changes of the data have been input into the uh, Google Sheet and the Firebase system shows the condition number 2. And then condition number 8 which is upstream level 3, downstream level 3 Warning will be showed at the LCD, US level 3, DS level 3 and the time difference is 3 minutes. You can see that the inner red pipe have been triggered until third switch up there. And then the Firebase system also shows that all of the switches have been triggered, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. And also downstream, outstream have been showed uh, the time difference, uh, the time have been captured and uploaded into the Google Sheet as been showed on the, uh, the left hand side. On the bottom left hand side is that the uh, warning and also buzzer 1 showing that this is the condition number 8. And lastly is condition number 10 which shows all of the switches for upstream and downstream have been triggered by the inner pipe. And the LCD shows emergency, US level 3, DS level 3 and the time difference is 0 minutes. The same goes for the Firebase system. The update will be showed at the Google Sheet and the Visual Studio Code shows the emergency and also buzzer number 3. As an impact to the society and environment, the IoT-based real-time monitoring system for headwater events enhances public safety with accurate data on water level and speeds. It helps communities to take early actions during headwater disasters, reduces risk of injury, and improves coordination between authorities and emergency services. The limitation of our project is that it depends on an active internet connection which is a stable Wi-Fi connection for ESP32 to transmit data and send alerts effectively. The system cannot be deployed in remote or isolated areas where there is no internet connectivity and it could possibly cause a noise in the output because of poor internet connection. So that is all from us presenting on, the, on behalf of our groups. Thank you very much.